We're live? We're live. Oh, we are like live live. Hi. We're live live. Yeah, Something that's what I was finally. <laughs> I shall get on the social medias. So welcome to a very annoying episode of Burning Questions, because OBS and everything is shit. Thank you, Nitro, for saving the day. Okay. Because I can never stream again, it seems. We'll figure it out. Will we? Will we? So, how is everyone? Doing all right. <laughs> Doing well. Good. Good. <sighs> so, the doctor is coming just in time. Good thing we were running late then. Let's see, last session. Nitro. Yes. How did you enjoy it? Any highlights or anything stand out for you in particular? Um, I thought the entire session was a pretty good highlight. Um, I mean, for one, you know, Amon got a bit of his backstory um, uh, introduced a bit. Um, and then we got to kill the guy that we hate, so... Okay, short and sweet to the point. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm rearranging windows at the moment, so <laughs> fair enough. Welcome, Dr. Bowie. Hopefully. Noscavian. Yes. Um Any highlights or anything in particular stand out for you? Last session was the one where we fought uh where we fought the Sinishaw, right? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, that was, um, that was a pretty, um, amazing session. Like when we went to the mosque and like, there was all the blood there. I was like, oh crap, some stuff went down here. And, um, and then a uh, lore van came and we, we followed him to fight the Sinishal. And like, I kind of suspected, uh, lore van was going to like, trick the Seneschal and like do the thing he did but I started like questioning well maybe he is maybe he's not I'm not sure and then when he did teleport down with the Seneschal yeah it was I, I thought we it was like going to be like a party wipe situation like that Seneschal the first person to punch him destroy your arm next person to, to attack him destroy your arm like it was intense I mean he could have if uh, Eris had had a bit more experience and not used arms of Armorin or Armorain uh, on a lampshade. Yeah, you would have been dead. <laughs> yeah. But he went for the dramatic effect more than anything. Which was very, cool. And... Very Seneschal of him. Mm. And the. Um, Dr. Bowie. The... Oh, sorry. Oh, nope, go ahead. No, carry on, carry on. I was just going to say the arms of uh, uh, Armor. The arms. Thank uh, you, uh, Vancouver. Armor. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, uh, doesn't that have damage that scales off of like his strength and potence or something like that? Like it's it, it was something very st strange and yeah, and he could. I think he could lift at least the majority, if not all, the party at once. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I you, you know um the Umbrella Academy. Yes, uh -huh. there's that d the dude who's dead. He could mm. do some weird ghost he had, thing. He had the tentacles. Cthulhu arms. That's how I that, picture it. Yeah, he had the Cthulhu oh. arms that came out of his stomach. Yeah. So, a quick note, because Vancouver by, no <laughs> Vancouver by Night has very kindly hosted us. Uh, on July 25th, over on twitch.tv slash Vancouver by Night, they're starting a Werewolf the Apocalypse game. Ooh. It's a for that. It's... Uh, it's a charity game. Proceeds are going to uh, Trevor and something I don't know the name of, but something else. So do check that out July 25th. What were you going to say, Nitro? I was just going to provoke the, the charity aspect of it. I wasn't sure if you were going to mention Wait. it. Okay. Fair enough. 
Uh, Dr. Boyer. He's the doc. Good morning. All right. Baby. Last game. Highlights. Anything stand out in particular for you? Uh, definitely the fight. Uh, that fight was intense. It really, it really felt like we were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I did instruct him. Don't feel bad if you're going to kill any of them. That's fine. <laughs> but I did. Uh, I did nerf him quite a bit as well. Oh, you nerfed him! Oh my! I did two rounds of combat instead of the usual three. Right, and that's true. Yeah. When you got him down to superficial damage, I thought let's just kill him off there, just in case. Mm. I mean, yeah. You were going to say sorry, Doctor? No, uh, it, it, uh, it was that uh, scene where the culmination for the last sessions went. So um, it was a nice little end of. I really look forward to how uh, how things will turn out from this because it's not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> it could be a real bad kind of turn of points uh, where we will have some issues and problems from the result. So, oh, we'll see. Well, it'll be um, interesting to see if it gets streamed. <laughs> I'm I'm with the doctor there too because uh, we have to remember that the La Sombra clan isn't limited to the two that we know. That word's going to get back that, oh, yeah. I don't know, one of them betrayed the other one. That may just be their thing, too. You know, uh, this one died. He was too weak. You know, I don't know. Um, but there is a clan there, you know what I mean, of other people that may look at us and be like, you killed one of us. Oh. An important one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... I wonder who is going to take over for the role of uh, being a central. That could be... Better yeah. Hakeem. There's going to be a power vacuum. <laughs> Just make it Caesar. Are there any left? Just make it Caesar. Have well, her do five Hakeem's jobs. lacking a primogen now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Bono so Hakeem. Hakeem. Two that we know of. Just the two. The... Nosferatu Primogen and the Banu Hakim Primogen. The Sinishot wasn't also dual heading as a La Sombra Primogen, right? There was no La Sombra Primogen. Uh, no, they because... allowed a Primogen. Because they have the Sinishot. And La Sombra. Yeah. La Sombra and Camarilla haven't always been friends. That's a very, very recent thing. Instead of giving them a position of power, she made him uh, her secretary. <sighs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. Which is probably and why he, he hated killed her. killed her secretary. It was secretary's day. He deserved it. Good secretaries uh, are so hard to find, too. <laughs> mm. That's yeah. true. I disagree. I bet she could find a Nosferatu that would be perfect for it. Oh, but then she's got to put up with a Harry or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry for Sinichel. Harry for Sinichel. Harry for Sinichel. Me and my big fucking mouth. Harry for Prince. They only get as much Harry as I want those shivers, though. Prince Harry! Oh, no. <laughs> it's perfect! I'm gonna make we Balo have... the fucking Prince. Fuck it. He's dead? <laughs> you can't work. That really Wait, oh, you said Balo, not Kalo. That That could be interesting. Groundhog. Yes. Last game. Uh, Highlights. Thoughts. Oh, the architecture. <laughs> no. Nah, um... <laughs> that was very good play. <laughs> oh god. I. I uh, um. What was it? The I really enjoyed the first scene. Like, well, not the yelling part scene. Sorry. The 
seen that the um, when we finally got to it, the uh, Ben Hakim place. Um, there was there was that there, there was that one moment where I was just internally in my head going, "Why the hell are you doing this at uh, Xavier?" for telling the guard, the guard <laughs> that there was a murder site there and I was just trying to figure out where to go from there. Um, you skirted the edge there because I was, I was expecting you to do a masquerade breach. I was all ready for you to do a masquerade breach and you just skirted along it and I was like, yeah, oh, clever girl. Dr. Saviness. Um, getting two crits. And shooting for some random reason. <laughs> you you were pretty good with that pistol. Yeah, you yeah. have really low yeah. stats and firearms and stuff, and yet you kept critting everything. Yeah, I only had one of firearms. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and okay. I managed to get two crits in a row. I'm sure a lot of us we probably think she's like a crack shot at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um that 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 whole and just yeah. <laughs> oh, also, um, the other my other favorite part was just uh, Lorvan after he woke up and realized. That he'd been oh no! Before. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely one of my favorite too. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> he was two days away from not being blood bonded. <laughs> I imagine he has in his in his uh, haven um, a whiteboard. Day since blood bonded, he goes up, rubs it off. <laughs> zero. It was like it was like four <laughs> digits, and they had to erase all four of them. Yeah. Yeah. Day since I mean, not blood bonded. <sighs> if I remember correctly, I believe the Sombra are supposed to be blood bonded to a member of the Camarilla. That was one of the uh, conditions of them joining, wasn't it? Oh, I think you might be right. I might have to look at look at that, but I think you might be right. Yeah. Hey. I, I know that they, they made them accept so like they got a the summer got a real bad deal. Like Well, did they though? If you asked yeah. me if, if you they stayed, me, if they didn't accept the deal, then their entire clan would be wiped out by the Sombra himself. Uh, he, 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 here's the thing, though. La Samba, as a high clan, I really feel like they should have transitioned into the modern knights as Camarilla. Did not happen that way. Like, I know some of the lore I read said that La Samba started the Anarch Revolt. They pushed the, they pushed the Bruja to, like, they used the Bruja as their pawns for the Anarch Revolt, which we became just the went through this last night. And it's like, really? I feel like it would be cooler if the Bruja were responsible for their own revolt and the La Samba stayed with the Camarilla. But that's three, not what happened. Three clans were involved. And, yeah, they, they were involved in that. And actually, it might have been four. Well, on the Anarch side, three clans were involved. Bruja, La Sombra. Oh, no, four, because Banu Akeem and Zemitsi. Was the Zemitsi yeah. a high clan? Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they, were, they were the one that was Zemitsi? I think oh, Zemitsi's... Sorry, I was just like, would the Zemitsi even care about that distinction? Oh, back, yeah. Back then, okay. yeah. Yeah, we're, we're... Shiver, we're talking 15th century, you said? Mm. Uh, no, we're talking... Oh yeah, for the first for the revolt. revolt was the 15th century. Yeah, I I was actually just uh, listening to a thing last night about um, the Anarch Revolt and then Anarch uh, history and culture and B- Bruja, but yeah, uh, the fact that you bring that up, Isaac, yeah, it's I'm with you, but yeah. what Shiver is basically saying, I mean, they dug their hole and then were about to be fucked by it. They really had no way out. I think they got a good deal because it was that or be wiped out. Right. And 
I like what what they White Wolf did with fifth edition. Like they could like I I had been house ruling the Samba as part of the Camilla. I like how V5 is like, okay, we're going to make um, the Samba part of the Camarilla, but we're not changing our lore, so here's the price they're going to pay to be to be made Camarilla. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a compromise. The Samba way, place. I feel they should be, but they had to I pay mean, to be there. It would, all, it would be semi-logical for them to be in the Camarilla, but with the way that the Samba are, they're not Camarilla. I'm just going to point out there, though, it is kind of funny that Lissomber got the shit of the deal and the Banu Akeem didn't. Especially since they were the assassin. But I, I guess looking at it, when it comes to uh, combat-wise, when you're trying to take people over to be on your side, um, Banu Akeem were much better at, at recruiting the Lissomber. Politics versus badassness. Personally, I, I'm surprised the Tremere didn't get involved with with that because at the time in the Dark Ages, the Tremere were really hated on for being usurpers and and all that stuff. So I feel like if there was this revolt saying, "Hey, we're gonna throw off the yoke of these elders who are abusing us," like I feel like these people who were diabolizing their elders. Would open would welcome this new clan of Diabolists into their fold. Like that would make sense, but again, it didn't happen. Well, I mean, it depends, doesn't it? If you believe the propaganda, then that's how it happened. But um, who's propaganda? <laughs> Tremere's. Oh, <laughs> but uh, I mean. So that was how it happened. That to deal with it, the Tremere did do this big, open thing of propaganda, saying that um, Salubri were Diablerists first, and all this sort of thing. Hey, fast car. Oh, hey, fast car. And they kind of covered it in that way, and eventually people believed it because the Salubri were never really trusted. I mean, for for starters, they had a third fucking eye, quite literally, on the middle of their fucking forehead. That ain't gonna fly in the uh, masquerade, is it? Well, they could keep it closed. No, it, that would fly in the masquerade. Like, that's either follow the masquerade or fucking don't. <laughs> At that point, I mean, you're stuck. You're Nosferatu. Yeah, true. Although they were banished to the sewers. Okay, because you can't be seen. Yeah, I mean, it's the same, it's the same concept. You're Just the most shadowy of figures. Yeah. Or, or a sweatband. Yeah. If, if you're from the 80s. <laughs> if the 80s their makeup was their is done well enough. Do you or think hey. Rambo was a salubri? Oh, I, I forgot. No, Bruja. Bruja. We're talking about a specific clan. I was like, uh, if they're Bruja, and then I realized that that doesn't work in this context. <laughs> salubri had warriors. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they did. Well, I, I'm thinking of, like, Wild the Bruja Park. aesthetic of, like, you know, leather jackets and stuff like that. I'm like, just tie a bandana around your head. Wild and, thought with what I read about the Salubri. Joan of Arc is the Salubri? Uh, yeah, I think so. And then killed for it? Probably. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's actually in the lore, but it's just, like, like I, I think, like, I could see her have having been a Salubri going on this whole whole you know, holy quest to save her people, and then them, you know, her being a vampire, getting persecuted for it, and da 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 And then they're like, uh, the, what was the guy's name? Ah, uh, I can't remember, uh, somebody who was near her who was kind of out there. Um, I think, kind of out there. If it's the same guy yeah, I'm like, thinking Gillette, of, that's an understatement. Gillette Yons, something like that. Um, like one of those other characters in that story being another vampire from another clan and there being a whole whole just wild story there. I can just see that being a thing. I have not recovered from herding so many cats at once yet, no. What? Uh, Pascar asked, has Shiva recovered from herding so many cats at once? No. Oh, last week. I, I'm pretty sure Joan of Arc is something in the water. Oh, mage. 
I I think she might be a mage, um, because uh, and might have been burned for being a witch, which in this context might have been. I mean, she, wasn't she basically she was burned burned as a, as a witch in real life for claiming that she could hear. Oh. The then it might have been that she was a mage. Um. Ricky Tiki Tavi. How woo. Last session. <laughs> Any thoughts or highlights? So many thoughts. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay. She gets in. Yay. Stuff happened. Let's have a, shout- a shouting match. Don't t- trust vampires, but trust us. Uh, us. Oh, by the way, I'm not a pet. Also, fu- fu- fuck you, Xavier. Great big argument. Then, oh yeah, we gotta go do a thing because Mo is knocking the door. Then we forgot to forgot to close the door, and we were still shouting at each, o- each other. And then we're going to see the Banu Hakim. Let's just pull Ricky into a place where it's really dark, and there's a great big pool of blood and a bunch of body parts. That Yay. was fun. And then <laughs> let's just oh hey guys, we've got to go because this guy named Lorvan is call- calling, and we've got to fucking go. Who the fuck is Lorvan? Where are we going? Why do we trust him? Meet Lorvan. He's a fucking asshole. Why do we trust this guy again? He claims to know something happened that we don't. You want us all to go, you know, wait a minute. We're killing a Camarilla vampire? You said not to kill a Camarilla vampires. Don't wait a minute. Actually, the prince said not to kill Camarilla vampires. That's a bad idea. That could get us all killed. Let's go do it anyway. And totally, Lorvan, can we trust? Like, wait a minute. Didn't we just have this conversation about not trusting vampires? And now we're trusting Lorvan. And then we're getting there. And Koronam, the Seneschal, is a total piece of shit. And everything that is like, like basically every man that, that Ricky has ever hated her entire life with the way that he looks down on everyone and everything. And it's just literally everything Ricky hates okay yeah i get it let's kill this fucker oh wait wait now there's teleporting is lorvan on our side oh wait no he's not wait is he now he's sta- staked oh guns run run ricky has no fucking that was the entire here. session yeah yeah that was a good summary um i, I feel like this out, hmm? this was your lesson yeah the, the, like, this, this was, was this ricky it. was learning a whole, whole bunch of shit all yeah. at once, and it is all fucking confusing because it's like, like, trust vampires, don't trust vampires, or then like, trust us, but don't trust vampires, don't yeah. trust vampires. But now we're going to tr- tr- trust Lorvan, while at the same time we're questioning whether or not L- Lorvan's motives, and we're going to go kill a Camarilla vampire, which is explicitly the thing the prince told her not to do on pain of horrible, terrible, painful death. I feel like uh, so, never do these things, but tonight we're going to do all these things. Yeah, exactly. See, Pandora. So, and, then, and then she tries to help, and then she gets pissed off because she can't. She can't help, and she screws it up. And then her beast comes out, and she completely loses control. And the only reason why she rushed into a group group of you know armed ghouls was because she lost control. She wouldn't have done Which that Xavier normally. Because gun. Yeah, um, she would not have normally just you know run out into them because guns. Because normally she's in control. Like guns fucking hurt. And now she realizes, oh wait, she got shot. It's fine. What? <laughs> and and then yeah, and then she like she she's you know completely just enraged and out of control. And then she witnesses Amon and Sidra have their arms destroyed in front of her and is terrified they're going to die. So she does the absolutely inadvisable thing and goes and charges Kornom, who tells her to sit like a little puppy dog, and she does, and she is going to absolutely hate herself for weeks because of that. I feel like when um, all this died down, all we needed was Isaac. To be like, we couldn't have explained it better. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I mean, to be fair, Pandora and the prince kind of told us, take Ricky to school because she needs it. And then all of a sudden, Lorvan shows up and we kind of teach her, you know, through trial by fire. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, very brutal fire. She shouldn't have any more questions at this point. (laughs) I'm picturing Isaac saying, Jesus, fuck me. It's that <laughs> simple. Why can't you get it through your head? Yeah. <laughs> the, the, what do the they teach kids in the school call? these days? Like, like yeah, just, what do they teach kids in school? Just go with it. So yeah, that, that, last then also, session. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Well, the, well, then also, it's like, okay, all this shit happens. She's just stuck sitting, being ang- just being angry at herself because she does not want to sit. But Lorvan told her to sit, and now she—I mean, not no Lorvan. Coronam told her to sit, and for some reason she can't bring herself to not sit. And she feels like you know, wait, she just you know yelled at everyone and told told them she's not a pet earlier in the night, and now she's acting like a pet, and that's terrible. 
And then all of a sudden, Xavier is being nice to her. Wait a minute, doesn't Xavier usually shout at her? And Xavier is actually being really nice and helpful. And yeah, Ricky is not okay. Ricky is 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 has been through a a a yeah a mental health trip and a half. She is not fucking okay now. She will not be okay for a while until she really figures some shit out. She's she's not okay. So she's a bitch of a vampire. Yeah. Well, oh, and also now she feels her humanity slipping, and there's other things that are going to be happening with her during the week. And she's like, "This is like, like what happened to me? Oh wait, I just tore into that guy and drank his blood. What did he even look like? I can't remember. Why do I not care? I don't seem to fucking care." And yeah, well, rem- remember what happened? She lost control, and she just, you know, she wasn't even hungry. She just sunk her teeth into that ghoul, completely drained him dry of blood, and. She doesn't quite isn't doesn't quite calm down enough to remember that until later, and then starts to notice like like she's trying to go about her usual you know job, which is also how she gets food, and it's just not interesting to her now. It's not fun, and and what's wrong? And and she's slipping, and she's changing, and all this shit. And yeah, Ricky is not okay. <laughs> and that wasn't even the most messed up I've ever put the coterie through. Oh yeah, we haven't been to Wonderland. That, was, oh, that wasn't even the that most messed up. No, that wasn't no. that bad. There's, there's, I think, would the <clears throat> chairs be the most messed up, the three rooms? I wasn't there for the chairs, but you told me about the chairs, and okay, those were so, pretty messed up. Okay, so fight-wise, this is the most messed up we've been. Yeah. Horror-wise, the three rooms are the most fucked up it's been. Mm. Two words describe two different things completely different. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, you... at, at, essentially, you shut down our melee. Mm-hmm. Isaac learned very quickly, thank God. <laughs> Wait, because I didn't go in? I don't know. Maybe Isaac could have handled it. Yeah, him and his brass knuckles. <laughs> um, those were Ricky's brass knuckles. I know, but you gave them to him. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, wait. Did she get those back? I don't know if she got those back. We'll worry about that later. She has to ask for it back. Yeah, she hasn't asked for them back. She forgot about them. Uh, no, I, um, yeah, to, completely to what Xavier uh, said, uh, yeah, the, the fact that we went into combat and, you know, I'm like, oh, this guy's super powerful, so I'm not sure what to do. See, Cedra gets slapped and her arm goes limp, and my brain just goes, sire attacked. I'm a, I'm a, you know, repay the favor go to stab him, my arm goes limp, and immediately, you know, my brain is just like, yes, this is the kind of situation I want to be in. I want to fight something this powerful like the Seneschal, but he just did something I didn't expect, so I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I just yeah. grabbed Cedra and left. Oh, that reminds me of another thing going on in Ricky's head. She totally realizes, or will, I think will realize that Coronam did not see her as even worth hurting. Like, like she destroyed, uh, he destroyed Ana, um, Amon's arm, and then he, de- or, you know, he, he destroyed uh, Cedra's arm first, then Amon's arm. And then he just told uh, Ricky to sit and just ignore her. And, and her friends got hurt, and she didn't because she wasn't worth hurting. Or at least that's in her mind, that's why. Hmm? That's a good point. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, doing that. Oh. No, no, go ahead. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll let him get his pizza. It's my birthday. Tina. <laughs> yes, it was your birthday and game I as had, well. I had some exciting moments, but now I've heard everybody else's. And I'm glad the way the game went the way it did. So, uh, my biggest moment. Some of you all know about this. Some of you won't even know because some of you that know me think Xavier is the same as me. But for the first time in my TTRPG life, and I have produced Twitch shows, I have been a part of dozens of D and D games. I had character bleed. Mm. And that fucked me up. Um, But the way the game ended, my favorite part was the very beginning and the very end. 
Um, for character development and for what I have planned for my character, um, those two things uh, are, are my favorite for the game. Now, don't get me wrong. The fight, the fight was incredible, right? But, um, yeah, I think <clears throat> there are some... Some of you all may not recognize this either. I know Shiver and I probably do more than most people. Uh, but, you know, Xavier being the, the only Anarch up until now, um, mm -hmm. he's played nice for a long time and hasn't really been about the Anarch idea. And all of a sudden he is. And here we are. Hmm. You know, so, um, but yeah, and the end uh, may not, may or may not have been genuine. Who knows? I just want to, I just want to throw that in there. I, I yeah, there's, <laughs> the game is going to get so good. I can't wait for it. And, and I know there's more stuff than I know already. Um, but after what just happened, I don't think any of us had any clue that last game would have been what it was. I don't think any of us, and if you did, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, that session, I feel like because of said character bleed, I could have done things differently. But I think because of that, it set up everything I've been planning for a while a lot better. Yeah. I just want to quickly say, Fast Cut, that was my highlight as well. Without opening the clip, what was it? Because I don't know if that's going <clears> to... <throat> that would be the one uh, where Tina was like, I just... I just want to, I just want to, and, and I said, I just want to rip off your pants and have you right there on the floor, but we have to wait until the end of the fucking session. <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was my good. highlight. That was pretty good. Uh, but, but yeah, it, it's bad though, because there's so many specific things that happen, uh, especially involving just straight up character development, because like Amon said, his sire was hit and hurt. Um, Ricky, Ricky especially, finally had her beast come out where she was conscious enough to recognize it and it was in a very submissive form you know oh rar sit and she's like okay <laughs> you know uh yeah i the whole session i think at this point is is my favorite because there were just so many things that happened mm -hmm. in general um in a rush the coterie has had many things that have been oh shit moments. I don't think killing the Seneschal was on top of any of our list by now. So, and just because you're Xavier, um, and I know this is a big deal for Amon as well, but the memory thing is a big thing that could come up as well for the two of our characters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's. I love it. Ironically, I, I you remembered it. it. Yeah. Remember as well. I don't. Well, I, I remember it, but I don't remember right. it. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I also was drinking that night. It was my, it was my birthday stream. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I applaud everybody. I hope, I hope um, specifically the new people didn't get too angry at me because, yeah, I yelled a lot. But... <clears throat> It was it was on purpose, and I still wouldn't take it back on what happened because I feel like with the things that are going on with Xavier, uh, yeah, it fit. It fit. So we didn't really do much uh, in way of the Ripper, but did anyone suspect the Seneschal was the one who was committing the murders? Um, it was a guess I had, I think, last Burning Questions. It was either during Burning Questions or it was after one of our games. Uh, you mentioned that we were having a guest 
that we looked forward to having, but you wanted us to, wanted it to still be a surprise, but had us guessing. <clears throat> and I mean, I had multiple guesses, but my big one that made the most sense was Eris and the Seneschal. I couldn't figure out how in game, like how in the lore and whatnot, that the Seneschal made sense. But between all the little hints that you were giving us about guests and whatnot, uh, the only one that really made sense was Eris. And uh, I did a cop out. I just said it's either one or the other, and the one was somebody really important. You know what I mean? Somebody, somebody we know that's really important, or somebody yeah. we don't know at all. Was what I said. So that and yeah. the, all the murders that that we found out that the Seneschal did were just like were the Ripper's M.O., but there was always something that was off um, that kind of pointed towards the fact that it wasn't the real Ripper. Like like blood. Like blood. Uh, uh, ash. Yeah. Bits. I think the... Uh, yeah, I think the closest I got was when we were investigating... Um, was it Chuckles? The the one why I looked at the mud and everyone was laughing. Um, that, yeah. that was because, the Banu Hakim and Mithras guy. Yes, Banu Hakim and Mith Mithras guy, correct. Because w when you said there was, you know, basically two sets of tracks and the one was rushing, but there was like obviously three figures, but the one came out of nowhere. Mm. I was thinking, oh man, this is like Shadow Step Fist of Cain. It was what I thought. So I'm like, okay, Shadow Step Fists of Cain, maybe it's a Lasamba. And then, like, the only two Lasamba we knew about was, like, Lore Van and the other guy. What? But, like, it could have been another Lasamba. I didn't know. The only thing I thought is maybe Shad Shadow Step Fists of Cain. That's it. No, I don't even know if the Shadow, Shadow, Shadow has Sh Shadow Step. Knowing the Sinishell, though, it was probably Shadow Step Arms of whatever it's called. Oh, it could be that they the arms could tear people apart too. True. Mm -hmm. You picked up on it. That's good. <laughs> I I figured that was the implication with the with the arms that that he had been tearing people apart with them. I didn't yeah. put that together until now, uh, but it makes sense. Yeah. Same. Interesting. So, where do you think the story is going to go from there? What What do you think is going to happen? Um, I I think the prince is gonna go. Great, you killed my seneschal because he was murdering people. Uh, take what you did there and go find the fucking prince, please. Yeah. Ripper, or yeah, the ripper. Sorry, I think it's gonna be super cold and golf clappy. Yeah. 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 Good job. Now do the thing you were assigned to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think Elysium is going to get very interesting. I I don't know whether or not the prince will be like, okay, I'm going to appoint X, and then maybe people will try to see if they can sabotage X person. I do or, think Elysium is going to get interesting. Yeah, or maybe the prince will be like, um, okay. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> I, I, like, you know, announce, okay, I need a, a, someone who's worthy to be Seneschal, so show me what you got kind of thing. Um, but I definitely think there's going to be a power vacuum and some either overt or covert competition to become Seneschal. I feel like there was um, already a tiny bit of a power vacuum as soon as Chuckles died, and now we have two more people in one session that were in very high positions of power that are now dead. So now it's just like somebody yes. freaking somebody freaking punched open the airlock. <laughs> yeah, and the primogen, that's another good point. Like mm -hmm. that there, there's a there's a lot of gaps in power. We don't have the king of all gaps being a missing prince or a dead prince, but like the support staff under the prince is go is like getting yeah, cut the up the camera really so, isn't falling apart right now they're just running around like chickens with their heads cut off 
Mm. Yeah, we're just putting holes in the foundation of something like that. Um, that, um, and I think Lorvan's going to be uh, play a bit more of an interesting role. It, I wasn't intending to blood bond him, but that's the way it went down. <laughs> mm. What are your thoughts? Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts? And I'm kind of figuring um, that that whole that night is not going to be able to stay secret, no matter what the coterie mm. wants. That probably will not stay secret. So, other vampires in Oxfordshire are going to have opinions and feelings or not or not yeah more opinions than feelings they're vampires and start looking at and perhaps interacting with and treating the coterie differently based on their own particular biases and inclinations i can say almost for a fact i know of one place in anarch territory that that's going to be a deal i don't know if it's going to be a big deal or not but an anarch was involved in killing a Camarilla, a high mm. high target Camarilla person. That that it's that would get a uh, Xavier some street cred. Just I don't know if it will or not. But would the anarchs know that? Right. Yeah, because Xavier just goes back to the anarchs like, look, guys, I got a picture, and it's just too blurry. <laughs> it's real blurry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the anarchs probably going to find out because you have Nosferatu. They will share the information. Mm. So they'll sell uh, the information. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But still it's quite important one. So they will highlight it. And Back nobody will gonna buy it un yeah. unless nobody um won't uh, knows it's there. So they need to throw out teachers to be able to sell it. So um it will it might take some time, but I think the Onyx will get to know it, uh, especially the kind of the higher ups. They'll definitely know um, that Kornam is gone, and yeah. Kornam being dead that, that that can't stay secret for more than a night or two. Like it, like the Seneschal it, suddenly being gone. Uh, I figure figure that people have to notice. Oh, something no, like no, this. because against like Secretary, the prince Point. could have sent him off to go do something. So true. Uh, no, uh, he was in person. So, has the picture or recording of the staking Xavier made had an effect yet? No, and it won't, because you can't do that with the Sombra. The Sombra yeah. don't cast. Um, well, you take an <laughs> audio recording of the Sombra; it's just incredibly distorted. You take a picture of the Sombra; it's incredibly distorted. Um, are they transparent, uh, translucent well, in a mirror? I I think they um they tweaked it for V5. So V5, it used to be like they just didn't appear on camera and stuff like that. But people basically abuse that to be a perk, kind of like, well, I'm basically I have camera stealth kind of thing. So I think mm. in V5, they specifically say you can't use it to hide your identity, but there there's something eerie about the picture that if they know I think the what they're are looking still. at. I think Look we've actually I, talked about this a tiny bit on burning questions before. I think somebody described it best as um, there's a bit of a mm. blurry shape, and you're and like it's really hard to focus. Well, like after, like it's, I mean, I've always it, pictured it's you know when you try and take a picture and you've moved with your camera. Mm -hmm. This is now, this is now apparently the 21st century camera. No longer is it this. It's <laughs> fucking mobile phones. Um, <laughs> That's how I picture it, you know, it's just motion blurred. Yeah, but just see the there's figures. something there. Yeah, just the yeah. pictures are motion blurred, yeah. Um I think I think Isaac uh, mentioned at one point it's like your brain has or your brain has a really hard time focusing on it. Like it's not a camera thing. It's it's like a it's a supernatural thing where you're like i your brain's like I'm looking at a Lasombra picture. It, there's something there, but I don't know what it is because I can't look at it type of thing. I had a little laugh when I was uh, uh, <laughs> uh, off-game while Xavier took that picture because I was thinking that that's not going to get out <laughs> well. <laughs> so. But yeah, I'm wondering what kind of phone is Xavier has and if it's 
Yeah, I'm wondering what kind of phone it is. A smartphone. You know? A smartphone? What kind yeah. of smartphone? Because he's got a bless your life. Bam bang. He uses it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you, a, a, a Bam Bang S64. Bam Bang S64. <laughs> Is that one of those like nice fancy smartphones with a cloud connection or or you know anything it's like 20, that? It's twenty twenty, Isaac. Yes. Oh, really? It do, it does. Interesting. He, he had the fifty seven, but they recalled all the fifty sevens because they exploded. Come on! It's good to know that picture of two vampires will be safely stored on the cloud. Real blurry and everything. <laughs> Right where the Inquisition can find. Okay. <laughs> uh, there is one uh, other thing that I think will be a um, thing that comes out from that. Uh, mm, and yeah. that is... Um, I think the prince will kind of be a bit... Well, finally someone killed him for me. Yeah. Kind of feeling, uh, Took and you bloody that, long enough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it was on purpose, kind of setting this up for someone to go after his life because it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. Uh, so she, I would say that she will. My feeling is that the prince was one that uh, sets up the. Uh, the play for for it to play out and be amused in the other end because she was the kind of the puppet master. Uh, I think that one that's that's kind of my my feeling about Prince. Um, the 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 younger kindred in the Camarilla probably is going to start fearing or respecting our group uh, because they'll this take us more very serious. Very premiere of you, by the way. Yeah. Please well, write, though. That... <laughs> both right, actually. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was laughing about that. Uh, um, because oh, well, they will start to take the uh, coterie quite serious, and we'll probably see some more attention from maybe some parts of the camera we haven't really seen before. Um, so I hate how you can predict these things. Now I've got to go and rewrite. <laughs> no, Just don't, because you got something really right. Uh, don't 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 do that because it's. Uh, because I can't oh, be asked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I I think that uh, that's uh, some some of the parts of uh, is that. Uh, I do believe there are several that is gratified or pleased with us uh, catching uh, Coronam, uh, like the Nosferatu uh, and the Bani Hakim, maybe even the Cult Midras, because, well, they lost a soldier. So... Balo should be will, thinking of he was next. There, there will be uh, vampires that are looking at us at the more positive light too uh, and well it's it, it's going to be fun i i really kind of uh anticipate uh, or well, look forward to what's going to happen uh, so you may regret that because <laughs> you are right yeah i um i i know that after our our run-in with the prince the last time um we were speculating on certain things, uh, especially in the game where we were talking about, is the prince the one that's doing stuff? Blah, 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 because she seemed real indifferent about all this. And then I think afterwards we were discussing how, um, yeah, our characters might think that she's a little shady because we're all 
a paranoid group of weirdos. Uh, but like outside of the game, it was like uh, the prince isn't really indifferent. She just doesn't care if it's not getting results. And what we kind of just did was like, hey, there's somebody out there that might be copying the Ripper and they're murdering people that are in charge of Camarilla stuff. By the way, it was the Seneschal and we took care of him for you. That's the kind of results that the Prince will probably really enjoy. Hi. Um, Hi. Resident Anarch here. Um, Hi. The, the Hi. Camarilla aren't the only fucking people that may recognize this. That's all. No, no, that's, yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> It's been all Camarilla this, Camarilla that, Camarilla this, and like, oh, you think oh. it's going to be the Camarilla that's like, hey, could you do something for me? Mm. We just openly the killed. Are kind of like that anyway, though, aren't they, as well? Yeah, but we just openly killed, I say openly because it's going to get around, the Seneschal, the Camarilla. The Anarchs are going to be like, you got no problem working for us. <laughs> you want to do this None. thing? No, no, definitely. This is going to open doors at uh, Nox side too. Uh, but I, I really haven't got any. Uh, um, uh, my problem is that the Nox side are quite kind of. Um, uh, they are disjointed. since they are not united, they're just disjointed. So they have every single Anarch have their own kind of plot and uh, view of point, a point of view, uh, which kind of, it will be both positive and ne negative kind of re result of, of oh, uh, out of this. You are right, but we do have a unified front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we go to war, we do go to war together yeah, against well, the Camarilla. Well, no? Um, uh, mm. You will have <laughs> allies. You yeah, the Camarilla declare war on the Anarchs. Yeah, Some I mean, Anarchs sure. just wouldn't give a shit. But, right, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying, Anarchs. like... But yeah, there would, there would be... It wouldn't be just like, you know, the Toreador Anarchs just sit on their asses. The, uni the unified Anarchs front is you protect your view. Mm. Doesn't matter what view that is. So if the Camarilla were to attack those views, you would protect them. Right, mm -hmm. we're yeah, all going mean, to fight back against that. That's the unified front. Is ideally, it, they're wrong. We're right. Yeah, if if the Camarilla, everybody's right is different. If the Camarilla and Anarchs go to war, it's less the Anarchs, um, the Anarchs like coming together and and putting a strong offensive against the Camarilla, and more the Anarchs are all fighting. The Camarilla together. Like, wait, I yeah. know that. Does that make sense? But that's, like, that makes that it sense. a unified front, is because yeah. they have a common enemy. The reason they're the enemy may mean different things, but they're still the enemy. Yeah, your you're different yeah, groups aren't necessarily. If, if, I mean, not every single. Let's, let's say officially the Camarilla and Anarchs of Oxford are at war. Not every single Anarch clan. Is going to join in on an all-out combat front, but if, right. if the Camarilla is attacking them, they don't have a choice. And then mm. there might even be a couple, a couple of Anarch clans that just say, "We don't want to fight." That's literally why we left the Camarilla is because we don't want to fight. Right, but the thing is, but just yeah. because they run, it's not about fighting or not. It means the Camarilla <laughs> look at you as bad. It's you're the enemy, whether we fight or not. It's indifferent. You're the enemy. Either we fight or we don't. Mm. Like, we don't want to fight, but you just declared and war then, on and us. And then there's also different methods away. of fighting. I mean, the Brujar are going to go in fists and chains flying. The Toreador are going like to use the beginning. other things. Yeah. Yeah. As well, yeah. Church. And the Nosferatu are potentially even more dangerous than the Brujar because the Nosferatu are doing all these things under, you know, behind the scenes, fucking things up. And they can uh, also I... fight. I mean, yeah. heck. That's why, but that's I why I think it's a unified front. It's no specific thing. It's just a unified front. It's us when versus it, it, them, whatever that means. A war would put it, Ricky uh, in a really difficult spot that would force her to make a lot of decisions she would not like any of the options of. 
you, you would die before make- you had to make those decisions if you were caught in that that uh, moral compass. Well, I mean, I mean that's the thing is like like if she, she would as soon as it was presented to her, she had to make a decision to survive. She would have to, and then you would die because of it, possibly. Well, no, I was thinking yep. a decision like would that decision be like? Well, would she be forced to be like, okay, fine, I'll join the Camarilla, sign me up, just you know, don't, you don't drag me. The into thing this is, war. you don't get that choice, right? Um, I, I'm well, sure angel, so they won't let that's her join why anyway. you would die. Well, yes. the yes. game girls are gonna look at you and be like, "Got six well, she, I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't even know any any other gangrels. Well, I mean, uh, have any relationships with any of them? F- Fush vampires are used in war in vampire wars all the time. I mean, that's kind of where you get the term shovel head mm-hmm. from, is because the Sabat love to just mass embrace. Fresh green vampires who would like wouldn't really know anything, but their beast could take over and they could do some damage before they die. Yeah, you know like, that kind of thing. I'm completely just going off of what Isaac's saying, but that could be <laughs> why. Sorry, that could be why Amon is kindred now. Who knows? I have literally left that open to shiver, and I have no idea. Uh, which is why I'm most excited about maybe potentially going down that road is the fact that, yeah, it, it literally happened during the fall of London and a Bruja came along, uh, a, a second inquisition, like grunt uh, squadron that was really not prepared as much as they should have been wiped them all out and went, Hey, you're kind of strong enough to keep fighting. Why do you think Xavier oh. was turned? Mm-hmm. There wasn't even a war going Max on. Bomb. Yeah. But literally, yeah, and- you're useful to us. Mm-hmm. It was no for no specific thing. It was, you have a set of skills that we can use. That's uh, quite a lot. Uh, that's one of the most common uh, yeah. reasons. Yep. Uh, back to the uh, Nosferatu. I would not be surprised if during like a uh, Camarilla Anarch War, um, any plan, like whenever the uh, Nosferatu or the Camarilla were planning some sort of hit that would affect Anarch Nosferatu, for that information to get conveniently leaked so the Anarch Nosferatu can pull out before the Camarilla hit comes. They're, they're mercs. Yeah, they well, absolutely the turn not, into mercs. Yeah, the Nosferatu. We're not tell you. We're we're on this side, they're on that side, but we're still Nosferatu. We're not going to tell you who knows what, when, or why, but when this is finished, we'll come out on the winning side. Yeah, Nosferatu well, are on the Nosferatu side. Yeah, yeah. Because no they, one else they, is on the Nosferatu. They're on side. the winning side, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they officially align with Camilla, but I think they act a bit more like independence friendly with everyone because. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a Anarch Nosferatu or Camarilla Nosferatu. You're a Nosferatu first. Yeah. Mm. Yep. It's great. I love I love Nosferatu just for that that specific thing. They're mercs. When it comes down to it, if the Anarchs for some reason win, even though that they're devoted to the Camarilla, all of a sudden, guess what? Hey, hey, we're over here. <laughs> like down here, boss. Save your skin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's true. Any questions? Any questions? Mm. I don't know why, what happened to my voice there. Eh? Questions. You turned into the chef there for a second. He did. <laughs> Hisky, pooky, pooky. Or Balo. It kind of was Balo. questions. Too. Not that chef. Is... Wrong chef. Oh. <laughs> that chef. <laughs> me, me, me. Questions? Me, me, me. I have questions. You have questions? I love questions. Right, says Did you just call me? Favorite snack. <laughs> Spare ribs. <laughs> uh, um, what makes a skeleton else unclean? Bone fast dust. Got, fast got had a question. That's not the answer. Oh yeah. Uh, Shiver said he didn't have to sleep with David to get him on. So what favors did David want? Uh, he wanted to be reminded how to do his usual stuff for relay that he takes for granted. Hmm. <laughs> and probably how to put on pants and tie his shoelaces. Burn. Um, not really a question, or actually, maybe it's a—it's kind of a question. 
Um, one thing that I the the whole Amon revealing his backstory thing kind of went pretty much how I expected, but it kind of interested me how the different did it though. It well, it did in the way of the way everyone kind of like nobody truly freaked out. I th- I actually thought there was going to be a couple of characters that kind of freaked out. I think Cedra threw you some shade that you're not oh, taking she did. serious. No, I I completely see that, but that's not because of what it is. It's because of the fact that I did it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, no, I'm I think the one that I'm most interested in. Like, don't get me wrong, Cedra's already <laughs> talked about how she wants to have a sit down with them on again. Um, so I'm, I have to look forward to that. I'm actually really mom's getting uh, grounded. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the doctor to go as hard on Amon as he did. Uh, and now in hindsight, I can kind of see why. Because his entire, his sire and all that got taken down by Second Inquisition. Um, and I can't wait to, I mean, Shiv and I are probably going to have to dig into some old stuff since there really isn't any information for V5. Uh, but Amon's backstory is going to have to be fleshed out some more because uh the doctor started throwing questions at me that i should have been able to answer but in the moment i was like uh 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 i kind of figured it out so i kind of laid laid off a bit there Mm -hmm. actually (laughs) Uh, i I think i don't create backstories on the fly too hard well it wasn't the fact uh, that we were trying to do it on the fly it's just the fact that shiver and i didn't have enough material to be able to flush it out as much as the doc started laying into me for. So, sorry, Isaac, go ahead. Oh, you're fine. I think uh, Isaac asked some probing questions, which was fun. Mm. But I guess mm-hmm. he tried leading him, leading him on towards answers he wanted him to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isaac was the one that um, opened up to questioning, which kind of surprised me. I was yeah, expecting yeah, yeah. Caesar or uh, Xavier to be like, speaking of secrets, what the fuck happened to you with the keypad? But it was, instead, it was Isaac that was like, I kind of believed you that you did it at random, but that was really weird. Yeah, and I had fun with the way I asked Isaac's questions mm-hmm. because I wasn't, like, directly, directly asking you. I was, like, mentioning this coincidence and having you answer it mm-hmm. <laughs> and kind of, like, backing yourself in the corners yeah i wasn't going into it i wasn't trying to outright lie i was trying to skirt the truth as much yeah. as i could just to make it a little bit more interesting that like to make it seem like amon didn't want to keep secrets from the coterie but also really wanted to keep this a secret and uh yeah uh, isaac did a really good job of just cornering me and not letting me do that and once That's- you're cornered Mm-hmm. Everyone else got you. The doctor started. <laughs> yeah. I, I I kind of really uh, appreciated the way uh, Xavier uh, kind of pushed Owen to be direct on the answers because I, I really re- enjoyed that interaction. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's kind of the one that can speak plainly, don't skirt around the truth. And yeah, somebody asked you a question, you were like, well, I mean, I was in the room, and you're like, motherfucker, uh, you I, heard what was said. Say what you heard, not that you were in the room. <laughs> yeah. No, I really felt that that was kind of necessary for Armon to have uh kind of confronted mm-hmm. uh so it was kind of stop being a wuss about it so <laughs> mm. i didn't flat out say quit being a pussy this time <laughs> yeah this time <laughs> <laughs> so uh, any other Xavier's, questions or anything oh yeah xavier's yeah. feelings on that um openly expressed or different than he feels inside i figured because he was because of his background that's why he told you you were a soldier but you know more than you let on Mm -hmm. yeah i could i could tell that xavier was just way too cool with it uh outwardly i could tell that there was something 
I mean, isn't that always something with Xavier? Yeah, I mean, but this, this on the one... surface, you think you, he's just this angry, angry guy, but there's always some reason or something that's fucking with him. Out of all the characters, then, I've fucking yeah. hits the most. But the problem, and then, is... and then what? You know, in between sessions, he's I don't know hours away visiting his kid's grave. <laughs> yeah, see, that happened. The... That happened one week. I, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Uh, but no, Shiv, the, the problem was, is usually Xavier has the most to say about a lot of things. and Because he has a lot going on. Right, exactly. Yeah. But finally, you know, Amon said, you know, hey, this is my story, blah, 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 blah. And everyone else was the one talking, and Xavier was the one just sitting there going, just, just answer straight, dude. Don't skirt around it. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah. I wonder if the cemetery <laughs> Xavier goes to. Oh. Uh, I wonder if the cemetery Xavier goes to is the same one where the Hakata had their haven. <laughs> that, no. That, no. No. That's, no. There's that's lots good. of cemeteries in Oxford. Yeah. You'll be glad that, to that would have been. That would have been ironic if. Uh, in uh, fact, in fact, it said that. I think in game, but it's not her real gravesite. It's a uh, memorial. Yeah, because so, she died um, in some far off country, right? No, I think we decided she died in London. Okay. I, no, that's what I was trying to remember because <clears throat> there was a reason I was in London, and so being deployed. Um. She died in London, but I'm not going back to that grave site. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. she has a memorial in Oxford that he would have had set up at some point. Oh, yeah, because that's where the wife lives now. Because mm -hmm. if our characters couldn't get any more similar, we found out that our wives live down the street from each other. <laughs> uh, Same book club. <laughs> you, live, you live with yours. Oh, that's right. Uh, Vampire Book Club? Yes, no. I, th I, think mine, I think Vampire Book Club was vetoed. Mine has been widowed for years. Yeah, I know. Just trying to think. For Vampire Book Club, you could do Where's Valley? Or Voldo. <laughs> Voldo. <laughs> <laughs> what about or the Varman, Varman Van Diego. Where in the world is Varman Van oh, Diego? I'm it, just it, imagining that as being a Nosferatu. Is is, is the 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 ne the Necronomicon that 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 was actually a fictional book written by H.P. Lovecraft actually like a real thing in the world of darkness? I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Oh, you want to see? I, it's kind of not related. Kind of related. The coolest cookbook ever? Oh no. It's not that cookbook that I totally in no way know nothing anything about and do not have a copy of, is it? The Necronomicon or whatever it is? Okay, that's yeah, yeah that's why I said um, in one session I think I said the password was Klatu Barada Nikto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the the book that Xavier or that Isaac's trying but to do. You gotta sneeze there. when you're saying the last word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Klatu Barada Nikto. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the necro nom nom. That's nom nom. Star, Helix. Hi, Star. Hmm. I mean, the the doctor, character wise, still hasn't learned his lesson about books after being nearly eaten by one. Yeah, Same. Isaac was there too. <laughs> well, that's uh... a little bit disturbing. That's a lesson I refuse to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bound on human flesh? It's like some sort of rubber, but it's made to look like human flesh. But it's like just regular stuff you can cook. But, you know, it's kind of got the Lovecraftian... Um, Victoria sponge cake. Lovecraft style. Flavor to it, yeah. Mix the batter up. Before pouring into tin, scream at it for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just imagine Balo making this. Mm. He's just like, 
<laughs> just scared. That was loud. Like on purpose. Yeah, yeah, and and it's like super polite of him too. He says like, "Oh, excuse me for one second. He just turns yeah. around. <laughs> oh, hey, Jolly, right? Hi. Hi. <laughs> just starts screaming at him because it says like totally a Balo thing to do. I would like to meet Balo at game. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I Everyone yeah, you would. loves. Yeah, would. you would. Everyone loves Balo. I say, yeah, I love. I like him more than I did Kalo, but he's still fucking confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's when it comes to uh, certain Malkavians. Kalo, no, Balo, the chef, and others you haven't met. It, it does become a <sighs> bit of a problem because, the, you know, the, the seer. What? What? You've got to have a good reason to go to the seer, and then I've got to give you information without actually giving you information if that makes sense because technically the seer could just say oh yeah the rip is this also while we're on that how dare you tie des down to a character like that hmm? wait who's des what do you mean to? the seer oh i've not met the seer yet mm-hmm. what he the well, seer well, or was he was a seer yeah yeah what, what's the, what's what, what? What's the problem there? When are we gonna see the seer again? Well, you haven't said why you want to go and see the seer, right? So I'm saying you tied him down to a character that it's extremely rare for us to want to go see, at least for now. I mean, it's so extremely rare to be able to get him. Well, that Seems okay, true. that too. Like even Balo mm-hmm. is hard, but we've seen Balo quite a few times. We've seen Des once. <laughs> I mean, if you be... give me in game a good reason to go to the seer, I can give him, you know, I can. It has make nothing it to do with the seer. It has everything to do with Dez. I feel like you could have given him another character where we, we could have seen better more, more often. I love Dez. I mean, technically, he could play another character. Plus, yeah. <laughs> I think majority of the people here have never actually seen Dez. Mm. <laughs> it's the seer. Yeah. I don't, the, I don't think the, the most Dez disappointing thing about Dez's character was the fact that for weeks, quite literally, I hyped him as being the Yorkshireman, being having this accent, and you're you're meant to think, oh, he sounds like a Yorkshireman because he's killed the Yorkshireman and he's got an accent, and then he comes on and he's got the thickest Texas drawl ever, and that joke didn't land. Mm. Oh man, I was if very I'd, disappointed. Yeah. If I if I had <laughs> had that lead up, I would have loved it. Especially if I had known it wasn't, or if I hadn't known it was Dez. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, no one knew it was Dez. No. You just knew him as the Yorkshireman and the accent, mm. and then, howdy, oh. y'all! We had oh. no idea. Uh, I, I, yeah, 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 I got that. Uh, than, I was hey, trying what? to stay in character, so. Mm. <laughs> that was no, hard. Um, yeah, Triangular uh, is the least, uh, the least uh likely to show a- emotional expression like the rest of us do yeah that's just because he's norwegian oh maybe <laughs> uh, he stays in character more than we do um no as as much i i know that Bela is kind of hard to get a hold of but i have mentioned out loud that i'm probably going to the fish market every once in a while to go see him to get wow. yeah but i also can't drag in right right guess. right I'm just, just saying, for you to go and buy whitefish. No, no, no I'm, I'm just saying. I'm you just could. Saying, I, I'm not saying. Uh, I could, like that's but everyone's going to be disappointed. An, you could that, create a, like a, a two and a half minute audio clip one time. That, that, what I'm, what I'm getting at, Shiv, is. Not even two and a half I minutes. Do. That was a long time. Sorry. 45 seconds. That's what I've been doing kind of in between. Oh, games. sex length. <laughs> that's kind of. Well, whitefish. Uh, yeah. Thanks. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, like, that's, what I, that's what I've been doing in between games. So if it's brought up in game where it's like, hey, we haven't, we need to go see Balo, this and that, I could just go, oh, I see Balo every once in a while. You want me to get a hold of him? That oh, you mean like I am with Harry now? Yeah, but he's not like a contact. It's not, it's less of a contact thing and more of like, you know, we, we never really had anybody to say, hey, Balo, we're going to, we're going to show up at your place, uh, blah, blah, blah. Other than maybe Kalo, 
uh and it's less of like hey Baylor, i need you to do something more or like hey Baylor, we're showing up to talk to you real quick the way the way to look at this actually should have been after we found out that Kalo died was Amon went to Balo just to see if he was okay, and we could have gotten a vocal update like we do with Harry's voicemail. Oh, yeah, I could Those have honestly voice done that too. <laughs> And to be completely but that honest... that would mostly consist of Balo saying, he's not gone, I can yeah. still hear him. Yep. That would have been yeah. what was hilarious. Mm-hmm. But it's just Balo and Amon, so there wouldn't be a lot of banter trying to figure yeah, it so out. Yeah, so it's like, you know, hey, are you, by the way, I, I figure you've probably heard of, about Kalo by now, right? Yes. I know of Kayla. I hear Kayla all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, are, are you doing all right? Because, you know, it's been kind of hard on some other people. It's like, what do you mean? He's still here. It's like, oh. oh he won't okay. go away. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Well, um, while I'm here, can I have some fish? <laughs> One pound white fish. He's going to fuck it. He's going to change it just to fuck with you all. I know it. Oh, two yeah. pound redfish? Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. You want a goldfish? One pound whitefish, two pound redfish. I'm not sure how the rest of that Dr. Seuss book goes. Uh, my brain was going there too. Yep. So, other news and announcements. Hopefully, if I can figure out why I can't stream, because there's literally no reason why I can't stream. OBS just says nope. Streamlabs just says nope. Hopefully, we can figure that out. Uh, because obviously we've got uh, uh, London's burning Saturday your time zone uh, or Friday, Friday right? your, it's Friday your time Friday. zone Saturday my time zone mm-hmm. Sunday we're bringing back Star Trek and Zero Saturday Star Trek our Adventures. time yep so tune in for that right here both are at 2300 UTC yep, or, sorry 2330 uh, yeah 2330 UTC um <laughs> It should be fun. Mm-hmm. I think there's only, uh, and I don't. Are you coming, Triangularity to Star Trek? No, um, I'm All right, fuck you then. The... I had one more no, question. Sorry, fuck you. Oh, hang on. Uh, we'll have Nitro there, so for both of those, so it should be streamed, but hopefully it'll be me streaming it. Yeah, because I don't know if I can play and know when to switch scenes. <laughs> What was your question, Tina? To, to end the stream as Xavier, what's this thing on my arm? You don't have to answer. I see. Well, everyone ready to say goodbye then? Yep. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Nitro, yeah. <clears throat> where can we find you outside of here? You can find me at, tw- at twitter.com slash nitrotypet and on Twitch at the same uh, URL, but twitch.tv, and on the Discord, which you can join uh, down in the below or here in the chat in a second when I finish typing it in. And how there do you, you spell? T-Y-P-A-T, the, the same as my... Right. Twitch username there in chat. Lovely. Triangularity, where can we find you outside of here? Uh, well, the Discord is uh, my usual hangout, so you'll find me there. Moscavian, where can we find you outside of here? Um, aside playing London's Burning on Friday or Saturday at 23.30, you can find me in the Discord, just at me, so I know to check. Uh, Groundhog, where can we find you outside of here? I am Groundhog20101 on Twitter and Groundhog2010 on Twitch and I occasionally stream. And I'm also in Discords and around the place. You'll find me somewhere. Ricky Tiki Tavi. Hello. Where can we find you outside of here? I always get. I am on twitch.tv slash Tavi. The Wolfus, where this week I'm doing some Pokemon tournament stuff, and I am on the Twitters at twitter.com slash Tabby Wolf. I believe that's the right one. Um, where I'm getting up to all kinds of trouble all the time. That's the wrong one. I've done that this to myself before. It's, yep. I it's, 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 it's with an underscore. Word. Yep. Somebody took my name before I could take it. Um... 
and also in the London is Burning Discord and like in my own Discord and generally any place where there's, you know, something terrible happening. Tina, where can we find you I, outside of here? Uh, mostly on the Discord, but since a lot, of, a lot of us are here and we like reading game stuff, uh, we're actively writing the next chapter of the famous E-War so if you go to any EVE Online stream for the next, I don't know, probably six months, uh, you'll see me in there somewhere. It's a pretty big war. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go look up Empires of EVE. EVE is the only video game where there have been books written about it. So There are various... He, he means from about the players' actions and perspectives. Yeah, 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 yeah. About, the, about actual war that happens. Yeah. Easy, um, easy. You can follow us over on Twitch, no, Twitter, dot whatever, com slash Table of Horrors. Links are all down below. They're also Discord on the channel. Yeah. Uh, and, and most of all, thank you, Paul, for being here. Thank you for coming and showing us support. We'd be doing this with or without you, but people actually coming to watch it makes it feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Uh, so thank you very much, and we'll see you for London's Burning on Friday, 23.30 UTC. Right here. Have a good night. Have, Have a, a good, good night. 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 <laughs>